He sits with his head in his hands, his feet sunk into the sand. The sky turns grey above him. He shows no sign of being alive. But what can a boy do? The day the world went wrong, he was in the front row. What must he go through to pay, to pay? Well, he doesn't know. Maria was his sweetness, his light, his redress, his night, his day. They rented a flat together, shared a summer in their hideaways. All he needed was her cheek pressed to his, and his world was calm. He could almost weep just watching her sleeping in the circle of his arms. There was one day they woke up early, and the dawn was splashed with gold. Maria jumped up and wanted to walk in the morning cold. So they left, undressed and stepped outside, strode the avenues, nude and giggling, unashamed and unafraid of any truths that the universe may cast their way. Whatever time they bring, they danced among the sick greys, and then he heard her sing, won't you follow me? To find a space a little closer to the sea To float away, away, away Today, today, today Jesus. Um, Anyone in here who's ever done anything wrong to someone they loved? Then the season spun, the weakened sun began to fade, with such freedoms come poverty, and food has to be paid for. Maria was too much the wild child to work for a living, so it was he who went out chasing papers, while she chased her visions, imprisoned in suits and factory uniforms. He slaved to pay for them both, dawn through to dawn through to dusk, resentment cultivated into mistrust in his mind, and nothing hits us like a kiss does, when there's very little love left within it. And work a day stressed to stretched his love to its limits. Money makes money, someone said, right? But the money he made barely bought bread for the table. And when you watch the wheat tick away, and the clock on the factory wall steals the day, and all that's left you is the grey of twilight, and the long tired night, there's got to be a point when your fire dies. And his was fading fast. No number of Maria's last could warn him. Someone should have warned him. Even a crack in the design could let the storm in And the architect of their love was looking worn thin A smile, a worried look, an angry thought A fumbled coffee cup, a slap, a slam door She wanted to make love, he needed to sleep She wanted to talk, he thought, she thought too deep When she said, me To find a space a little closer to the sea To float away Today, today, today. And to his mind, it seemed that Maria had lost her rhyme and her reason in her drinking and daydreaming. Sick of coming home to the mess she made with scattered sculptures and fragments of scribbled pages. She called it art. He called her from work, said he'd be home late. Needed some of his own space, needed a drink, so he went with a couple of workmates to this bar just open, close to the factory gates. And his mates were chatting about these women they find thick, singing they wouldn't mind a bit of it, considering, and in the midst of it, our friend is drunk and hypnotised by this blonde bit of skirt with cute little eyes that flicker like the serpent's tongue, blatantly flirting. He thought, that's just what I need after a week's working, right? And one drink leads to another thing. He finds himself pressed against the bar side, fumbling with his plumber, mumbling something about going back to hers. And before he knows, she's pulling off her skirt. Two hours later, it's long done and over. In his sleep, becoming just a little more sober. He's locked within this dark dream. In his imagining, he's scrambling to find Maria, but she keeps vanishing. He wakes, cold and shaking, in a sudden sweat. Driven by fear, he rushed to gather up his stuff and left, running with his head spinning, his tongue raw, running through the streets that have been theirs for summer before. He reached the door of the flat and tiptoed in, knowing he'd find his lover there, soft and dozing. But there was no lover. 
No sound, no smiles, just Maria's art work stacked in neat little piles. He burst into the bedroom, but she wasn't there. Just a rumpled pillow and a strand of her hair. And this note where she would have made her hair. And the moment that he saw it, he knew that she was dead. It read, when you follow me, to find a space a little closer to the sea, to float away, 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 to day to day to day. Cause everything must die, no sooner dry than we are taken by the tide. Float away, away, away So very little time to play